places. Five places? Five places. Yeah. Four places this morning. And uh, I believe you are all witnesses to what we've seen. All the places that we've gone to, things are in order. We all started on time. The students, everything, the materials, and all that. In about two places, we have special students. And fortunately for us, we are required papers, and the arrangement that has to be made for them has been made. We, yesterday, we had a smooth exam. Today, we're hoping that everything will go on smoothly. And then the subsequent days, we also hope that everything will go on smoothly. Yeah. So yesterday, unfortunately, some students in the Northern region couldn't partake in the area. We understand there are about 200 of them. What are your plans for such students? Well, the, the issue of the students in, who were supposed to write in Kumkudu was brought to our notice. And um, this is a place where they have been writing their exams. They made prior arrangements to, for their center to be changed. But this goes through a process. And while the process was not complete, the arrangement was that they still write at the same place. Uh, fortunately, the, uh, the community um, who initially agreed on that then further said that they still will not. But yesterday, as of 1 a.m., or this morning, as of 1 a.m., there were still discussions between the regional district directors of education and the regional ministry. And uh, this morning, I was told that the issue had been resolved for them to write the remaining papers, whilst we still discuss with uh, Waik to see what could be done for the other remaining, uh, the two papers that they did not write. But we want to appeal that asking for a centre doesn't come overnight. So we are appealing to communities, we are appealing to parents, we are appealing to schools, we are appealing to the general public. It goes through a process. The WAIC and the Ghana Education Service have to work together to ensure that the center deserves to be a center in terms of security for the materials, security for the children who will be writing, the environment, the facilities in there are all intact. So we are pleading. We don't want a situation where within the next few minutes somebody says we want this center, we want that center, you know, we can't do that. Examination, when we are writing examination, we go through a process. We go through, we have rules and regulations. Let's all abide by the rules and regulations. You know, if for any reason the Y or GS does something that prevents the student from writing, then the fault is ours. Then we can make provision for that. But if a community or an individual decides on his or her own, then it becomes very difficult for us to always go back and then rectify the situation. So we are pleading that let's abide by the rules. The, the, for everything that we do, there are rules and regulations. Let's abide by the rules. If you have any queries, bring them up and then we try to resolve them together for the betterment of Ghana and the future of our country. So well, yesterday's all had to do with importance of security according to the community. I thought that, is a, that was a genuine issue. Genuine issue at the time that you put the security issue is also very important. So if, if you put the security issue to me within the shortest possible time and you want me to resolve that, as I indicated, when you say we should, we, your, your place should be a centre, we, we have to ensure that Yes, we agree to it based on the guidelines that we have. You know, we don't want a centre where it will take maybe two, three hours before we get there when people the exam should have start, started. We don't want a centre where we don't even have a place to keep materials. We don't have a centre. We don't want a centre where we don't even have the basic logistics. You know, so it's a security issue. We understand, but you raise these issues well enough 
so that we can have enough time to get them resolved. And when they are not resolved, so all that we need to do is to compromise. You know, we compromise on the situation, and then as we go ahead, we try to find a solution to the issue. Thank you.